Welcome back to DM Academy. Okay, let's have another problem for the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, let's say we have our function of y is equal to 3x plus 9 multiplied by the inverse sine of 5x squared minus 11. Okay, so our working solution for this one is vdu plus udv. So this is product rule. We will let u be equal to 3x plus 9. And we will let v be the sine inverse of 5x squared minus 11. Okay, so our dy over dx is equal to the inverse sine of 5x squared minus 11 multiplied by the d over dx of 3x plus 9 plus the 3x plus 9 times the d over dx of the inverse sine of 5x squared minus 11. Okay, so derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the inverse sine of 5x squared minus 11. Derivative of, multiply it to the derivative of 3x plus 9, that is 3 plus 3x plus 9. Multiply it to, okay, so using the chain rule again, that is d over du of the inverse sine of u multiplied by the d over dx of 5x squared minus 11. Okay, so our dy over dx here is equal to the inverse sine of 5x squared minus 11 multiply it to 3. That is 3. The inverse sine of 5x squared minus 11 plus 3x plus 9. Multiply it by the derivative of the inverse sine u. This is 1 all over the square root of 1 minus u square multiplied by the derivative of 5x square minus 11 this is 10x okay so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 3 sine inverse of 5x square minus 11 multiply it by we have 10x times 3x plus 9 all over the square root of 1 minus the square root of u, which is u is 5x square minus 11 square. Okay, so let us uh, simplify this one. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to 3 inverse sine 5x square minus 11 plus 30x square as we multiply 10x to 3x then plus um, 10x multiply it by 9, that is 90x. Okay, over the square root of, we have 1 minus 
Okay, the square of 5x squared, that is 25x raised to 4. Minus 5x squared, multiply it to 11, then multiply it to 2. We have negative 110x squared. Then plus 121. So let us simplify this one. We have dy over dx is equal to 3 inverse sine of 5x squared minus 11 plus 30x squared plus 90x all over the square root of negative 25x raised to 4 plus 110x square minus 120. Okay, so as you distribute the negative 1 to 25x raised to 4 or minus 110x square plus 121. So from 25x raised to 4, that is now negative 25x raised to 4. Then from negative 110x squared, that is now positive 110x squared. And here, from positive 121, as we distribute the negative 1 here, that is negative 121. But still, we have plus 1 here. So negative 121 plus 1, that is negative 120. Okay, so finally, our dy over dx is equal to, as we find... The LCD, this is the square root of the negative 25x raised to 4 plus 110x squared minus 120. We have 3 of the square root of negative 25x raised to 4 plus 110x squared minus 20. Multiplied by the sine inverse of 5x squared minus 11 plus 30x squared plus 90x. Okay. Okay, so this is again our dy over dx. Okay, so let's have our last problem. Okay, so we have um, our function of y is equal to the inverse cosine of e raised to 2x. Okay, so... We have let u be equal to e raised to 2x. So our function of y now will be the inverse cosine of u. Since we let u be equal to e raised to 2x. Okay, so using the chain rule, we have the dy over dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to x, oh sorry, with respect to q times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, substitute. Our y is the inverse cosine of u. Multiply it by the d over dx of u, which is e raised to 2x. Okay, our dy over dx is equal to the derivative of the inverse cosine u is negative 1 of the square root 1 all over the square root of 1 minus u square multiplied by the derivative of e raised to x. So we will use the chain rule on this part. We have the d over du of e raised to u 
times the d over dx of 2x. Okay, dy over dx is equal to negative 1 all over the square root of 1 minus, okay, the square root of u, which is u is e raised to 2x square. Then multiply it to the derivative of e raised to u. It is still e raised to u times the derivative of 2x, that is 2. Okay, so our dy over dx is equal to negative 2e raised to u, which is 2x, all over the square root of 1 minus the quantity of e raised to 2x square. Okay, so we have um, dy over dx is equal to negative 2e raised to 2x all over the square root of 1 minus as we take the square of e raised to 2x that is e raised to 4x. Okay, so this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Thank you for watching.